Welcome back to another FC24 update video, guys. And uh, today is some big news. Not only do we have the new season where we have a ton of footies cards, today is not about the footies. I mean, you guys have already seen this, right? You guys have probably seen some other content creators do this early in the morning. I, uh, you know, still do, don't do this full time. So I'm at work while the people are over here making content. So you guys want to see any of, the, any of the more cards, the whole season in depth, go ahead and check some of those other guys out. Um, but yeah, at the end, we have a 99 Holland to get at the end of the video. Or sorry, at the end of the video, at the end of the season, at level 40, we have a 5-star, five 5-star, five 99 rated Erling Holland. Finesse Shot Plus, Rapid Plus, Press Proven Plus, and Aerial Plus. I mean, this card is absolutely broken. I'm surprised they didn't give him um, first touch. Uh, I would have thought they would give him that just because I feel like, you know, people ping the ball into him or they cross to him. I feel like, the, I don't know, a little bit better control, but... I still think this card, regardless, whatever he has, even with no play styles, he's gonna be insane. Uh, Holland's an annoying in this game. If you guys have ever played against him, six foot five with aerial plus, just seems like a nightmare. So hopefully by then, I uh, I don't really I don't play this game anymore because that's gonna be annoying to play against. Who knows how long it's gonna take to get thirty nine thousand XP, right? Is it gonna take you know thirty five out of the last forty one days, or is it gonna take you know thirty or twenty five days? Who knows? We'll have to see. Um, and then also the Garincha is out. I mean, there's a, there's a ton of really cool, really cool cards. I'm really just excited for uh, Bonmati, Ansu Fati, and as well as who else was in there? I think that's pretty much it. That's all, that's all I really care about, to be honest. The packs aren't the greatest either. If you guys haven't really seen them, like I said, 80 by 20 is nice though. We're getting like some decent big packs towards the end of this game now. Finally, uh, they're really making these season progress packs worth it. But yeah, that's just enough about that. And then we also have some challenge. If we go to seasonal here, there's now challenges per card you get, right? So you, have, you can get have a chance of getting an Alex Scott now, who looks pretty decent. Uh, a Dirk Coit as well, or Coit. Um, his card looks really good as well. And then we have an Al Aruran, the spider, as I, I like to call him. This guy is absolutely insane. Um, at least in the last year's FIFA, right? He was really broken. This year, he hasn't really had that like aura to him, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I still think... Still looks like an insane card. I'll probably end up getting him anyways. But yeah, so those are the three cards we have. To, uh, other footies to get that are going to be for free, I guess. Just takes your time. And also having to grind out the season progress cards to do the challenges. So that's pretty much it when it comes to what's been released new in the game as well. And I don't know if they upgraded the champs rewards. I think they were going to. But I don't know if they actually did. Um, if we go to champs rewards, let's, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. I'm actually not too sure. I haven't seen any... One of four, 94 plus ultimate ch champs. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Maybe maybe tomorrow. I have no idea when. Or, sorry, the week, the following week, I believe they said when you log into the game. I think they said it's the 18th. So, a week from today, pretty much. So, that's what we have right there. Obviously, Path of Glory cards are going to be um, uh, not available tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be uh, what is going to be Team of the Tournament, which is what I want to show you guys now. As you guys see on the screen. 99 Messi from the team. The Messi is set to come as Copa America team of the tournament. So there's going to be a Copa America team of the tournament and also a Euros team of the tournament. So we have already leaked a Messi card. I'm assuming he is going to be 99 rated. Um, maybe not. I mean, probably 99 rated, right? I mean, I, I would assume so. This card is going to be the most expensive card. Messi card, obviously, four place out pluses. I'm assuming really good. I mean, he's going to be insane. Uh, team of the season, team of the year. Whatever everyone got, everyone who has Messi just knows how crazy and cracked he is. So that's a confirmed card that's coming for the team of the season, for team of the team of the tournament. Sorry, and then we also have foot police. Shout out to foot police here, and also shout out to you know FIFA trading Romania um, for dropping some of the leaks as always. But Conte is also confirmed to come as an ultimate team team of the tournament for the Euros. Um, stats predicted obviously, but this card. I mean, he's going to be expensive. He's going to be very good on the ball. Really annoying to, you know, the player to play against because he's defensive-wise. He's so annoying like he is every year. And just like he is in real life, right? The guy is insanely good at, um, at just being annoying. So there's that. And then we also have a Jude Bellingham coming out as well in the Team of the Tournament promo. So a Jude Bellingham, um, a Messi, and a Conte. Those are the cards that have been confirmed already. There's also going to be a lot of um, a lot of other cards as well. Um, that are going to be released. I think some people already have, like, there's already some leaks on, like, the full team that's, like, going to be in it. I just don't really remember who tweeted it um, that I couldn't remind. I couldn't remember. But, yeah, a 98 Drew Bellingham. I'm assuming he's going to be 98 or 99. This card's going to be broken as well. And it's been confirmed and leaked 
or sorry, it's been leaked. I don't want to say confirmed, but it's been leaked that Jude is the EAFC 25 cover for the ultimate uh, bundle. So that's going to be kind of crazy. Um, the Jude PR going strong. But yeah, Messi is going to be obviously insanely cracked, insanely broken, super expensive, obviously max price probably. And they're probably going to make him five star, five star. If they don't, I don't know what they're thinking of, but this card, five star, five star, I think would be obviously the way. And also footies is going to be the week after. So we're looking at, Team of the tournament for both Euros and then maybe international stars. I, I think that's what's going to come. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to be um, thinking about tomorrow, right? Which is another thing I want to I say, too, is I personally don't know if I want to open up my Champs Awards and everything for tomorrow or if I should wait till um, Footy's actual full team is going to be released because that is something I'm really interested in, really intrigued in, right? I'm really... I think footies is like the more fun option because every card has like five star, five star, the stats, everything, right? Like I said in the last video, but um, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys going to be saving your packs for footies or for this team in the tournament? Um, obviously, it would be nice to pack a Jude or a Messi or just some of the end of the card, right? That's going to be in the team. Emmy Martinez, I'll be probably going to be in it. Um, Lautaro is probably going to be in it. You know, I'm assuming like the teams that kind of made it really far and also some of the standout cards as well. So. We'll have to see. I'm assuming any card that's in the any card that's in the final, you could any team, sorry, that's in the final, you could expect a few um a few cards. We also have what else released today on the game. We actually um or Yarzabel SBC also dropped, I believe. I think he's like an I think he's really cheap as well. And he has really good playstyle pluses. So let me go ahead and check that card real quick. So let me he's a 95 rated. Four playstyle pluses. So Basically, if they win the final, I think he goes up again, right? I'm not sure actually how that works. Five star, five star. Um, yeah, his card looks cracked. Only one squad. What, what does it take? An 86 and no team of the seasons. I know you guys probably can't. You guys obviously aren't able to see that. I just wanted to say that for you guys. And he has finesse shot plus, technical plus, or sorry, tiki taka plus, press proven plus, and quick step plus. Looks like a fun card. Really cheap. I think everybody should just craft that. Um, I think it's a no brainer. But yeah. We have that, and I also want to check um, foot scoreboard. I want to see. There's probably gonna be some cracked pack that's gonna come out soon. All right, sorry guys, I had to just clear my throat. I've been talking too much. I also recorded another video earlier, but uh, I'm looking at Donk's account here, and he's also saying, you know, this is some like uh, he's talking about the team of the tournament starts tomorrow and who deserves a card. Let me know in the comments as well. Who do you guys think deserves a card? I think obviously Yamal, if he was in the game, which he is already. Well, actually. No, on Saturday he turned 17, so I don't think he's gonna be um, in the game by then. It's gonna be too quick. I don't. I don't think he'll be in the game. I, I'm not too sure. I'm not, I really don't know. Um, but that would be insane if they released like Yamal. That'd be so fuck, so fun and cool. Um, because I'm just a huge fan of him. I think he's insane. I think he's the future. He's actually a world class talent, and he's only 16, turning 17 on Saturday. So that'd be nice. Gakpo, he would be good as well. Um, maybe Xavi Simons because he scored that that banger just sliding and he still scored i don't know somehow he scored that and uh yeah so maybe that's maybe some of the look out the star players i've been looking out maybe a mark gahey mark gahey has been the best defender on england in my opinion um he's always played a put a solid performance in obviously besides the game he got like suspended from um or due to suspension from the two yellows but i mean other than that 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 guy has been insane so those are some of the cards i'm looking at right i'm looking at some of the teams that are in the finals from argentina you could say lauti um, for sure, Lautaro Martinez. I think he won. I want to say he scored the most goals from Argentina, but I, that could be wrong. I'm not too sure. So maybe him. Um, and then we have uh, Colombia moving on. So if James was in the game as well, he would have had like an insanely good card. He has like an assist. I think he's like five assists over the tournament. He's got a bunch of man of the matches, so he would have definitely been in it if he was in the game, which he's not, unfortunately. But that would have been something to look out for too. But he's not in the game. Um. So that would have been something cool. I would have really liked Hamas, man. It's been it's been a while since Hamas, you know, um, been able to use like a usable Hamas in the game. But uh, yeah, probably. Who else can I think of? On England, you could say. Obviously, we have Jude who scored a bicycle kick. I'm trying to think of like I think Mark Gay. He's a like a no brainer. He's really good as well. They already gave Declan Rice a card, um, so he's not gonna get one. I don't know how he got one. Honestly, I don't think he was like that great, um, for the tournament as a whole. Um, he's had like, moments, but. He's also had really bad moments, um, especially in the group stages. So, um, or in the group, uh, in the groups, not the group stages. Um, I guess it's the same thing. Uh, let's see who else. 
Let me know in the comments down below. Um, for, I'm trying to think, standing out, it's kind of hard to say. Oh, for Spain, definitely Danny Olmo and Fabian Ruiz. Those card, those two cards, I'm expecting for sure a card. Um, I know Danny Olmo has that already, like Path of Glory card, but maybe they give him another one because he's been insane, man. He's definitely been like the best player from Spain. Him or or Fabian or Fabian Ruiz, one of those two cards have been insane, as well as Yamal and Nico Williams. But those, but Nico Williams has a 97 rated card. I don't think they'll give him another one. Um, Fabian, Fabian, and it's kind of hard to like to remember everybody's name when I'm not looking at like a team sheet or something like that. Um, so yeah, there's that. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and check. Let's check football real quick, just so we can. Let me go to the Euros right here real quick, and see what's what's going on here. Um, so I can remember the the teams and stuff like that. So we have obviously Spain and England. Let's go ahead and check. The squad, so I can remember, and I don't have to be keep stuttering over the, over myself, right? Um, keepers, I'm not really gonna talk about keepers. I think Carvajal has been insane as well. And oh, Cucurella, I think he'll get one because he didn't have a special card. I think he'll have one. Um, I don't think he has a special card. At least I'm not too sure. I, honestly, I'm sorry. Um, Danny has been good. Cucurella, Lenormand, I think he has a card already. Already, and then of course Ruiz and Daniel have been the best midfielders. Rodri has also been good, but I don't think as good as them too, man. They've been so good. Um, Yamal, obviously, Nico Williams, and probably that's it, honestly. Um, and then England has a decent squad as well. Maybe a, f maybe like a Saka, because he scored that banger. But a lot of these cards have a lot of these cards already have special cards. So I'm not too sure what they're gonna do about that. Ollie Watkins maybe for his finish, but he already has a 96 rated card too. So it's kind of hard because a lot of these cards have multiple special cards already so i'm not too sure but that's pretty much it for today's video guys want to give you guys an update on one of the cards coming out tomorrow um and yeah this is a late night upload but i think it's been a good one for you guys to try to see what to expect tomorrow um messi jude conte for the three that have been confirmed as well as a lot of the other cards that have been in the finals right anybody from argentina spain colombia england expect a lot of those cards from the team of the tournament as well as some other standouts right so that's me for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy Please like, please subscribe on the road to 900 subscribers. But for now, guys, I'm out of here. Adios.